Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Hey there, true believers. Rain Kisaragi here with Mortal Hitman Not Subtitle Blind. So, we're here in Hokkaido. Um, yeah, I actually got a bit of a heads up on this mission uh, from the guy at work that who has played this before. Uh, so I know a little bit going into it. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, I can't bring anything. Okay. Um, well, uh, alright, I can't grab anything then. Never mind. Can I... Okay. Probably just keep my patient outfit, because I know right about how things work here. Uh, basically, I can't... Um, uh, doors don't open with keys, they open with uh, chips inside the robe. So, my robe probably is the best course of action. And since I can't take anything, uh, I guess we'll just go and play then. Why not? This'll be fun. No, no gear? Perfect. Let's do it. This is going to be a seven-hour mission. <laughs> All right. Hopefully this isn't too big of a mission. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. Thank you. The Gamma Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law, if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Soders is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Okay. So, I guess that's my head. Service here at Gamma. Your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. Cool. The device will unlock and allow access to your personal suite. Okay. Helpful. All right. So, that wasn't uh uh what do we get? Oh, this is my journal. Okay, that's not... Well, let's... What can I pick up and take? Because this is a stealth mission. All things need to be procured on site. Um, 
It's an empty ass. Okay, that's just my current robe. This is an empty ass hotel room. I have like nothing in here. No miniature soaps, nothing to bludgeon people with. Alright, but assumedly I'll be. Okay. Assumedly I'll be able to go around f relatively freely though, right? Because, like, I'm allowed to be here. Right? Totally dark man. 47. I have intel <laughs> about that bandaged mommy. patient. So what kind of work did you get? Nose bridge? Well, what do we get? This is quite fascinating. The bandaged patient is Jason Portman, former CEO of Quantum Leap. According to my intel, he has undergone full facial reconstruction and is scheduled for bandage removal today. And get this, he's going for the full Helmut Kruger look. Ah, oh, oh, from the first mission. Okay, so I could, I could become this guy and theoretically get around this place a little easier, huh? Can you keep a secret? Shut up. I'm being cut to look like. Yeah. What's up, guys? Kruger, the model. I mean, you know, the resemblance was always there. People always used to tell me you. Surgeon for a checkup, and I cannot wait to see what I look like underneath. But you're Jason Portman, the new face of Silicon Valley. Modem called you the Golden Brain. Your stock is soaring. How will people react if you suddenly look like someone else? <laughs> All right. Shut up, invisible man. You <laughs> shut up. That's a good one. No, seriously. No, I'm in the final stages of that thing we always talked about back when we were, uh, you know, uh, item. Krugerification, it's happening. It's actually happening. <laughs> shut up, yes, two weeks from now. I could be the one on a podium in Paris. Nobody would know the difference. Mm. Cheekbones to die for. Cut glass, baby. Almost a shame you won't get to enjoy them, am I right? Am I right? Shut up the gym. I don't have time for that. My good friends here have a plan for that as well. Full body graft. Muscle implants. Why wait for months or years when surgeons and endless amounts of money that I have can make it happen in weeks? Screw the natural way. That's the oh. Shut up, I bet you would. Maybe I'll call you when I get back to LA. Okay, we'll see. Bye, Stacy. So you're just uh, changing yourself for your ex, then, huh? Kind of a loser, eh, bud? Lisa, Lisa, sweetheart, I told you not to call me here. Well, I just checked my voicemail, and you left nine messages in the last two hours. I'm with him. It's cool. It's not weird. Just no, two no, dudes no, looking no, like no, Helmut Kruger. Back at the ranch, but well, well, of course I'm not smoking. I'm here for an operation. Evening. How are you, Doctor? Hmm. He's gonna duck into a room, and I'm not gonna be able to go in there, am I? Checkups, they said. Yeah, right. Better call my name soon, or I'll buy the whole place and fire everyone. Have them killed. Well, all right. Good evening. Oh, you're just going back up here. Okay. Um. Hmm. Shut up, Helmut. No. Wait. You're not Helmut. Hey, bad form, dude. You stole you my idea. Right. Hey, look, asshole. Maybe you can find someone else to emulate? 
How about, uh, I don't know, Jordan Cross? He's hot, right? Wow, this is super embarrassing. A little bit. Uh, at least we don't attend the same social circles. <laughs> Shut up, we don't, right? I've, I've got connections. I can make you disappear for good. Can you? What a little uh, butt hurt about that, aren't you, friend? Alright, who's gonna be all in here? Oh, come on, what's that doctor doing? Can't wait around all day for this. Yeah, dude, you Man, gotta get out of here, to right? Yeah, bandage guy got to get out of here. Um, okay, there's a closet in here. That's handy. Mm. All right, so he does come in here, though. Evening, sir. And then they do not leave together. Okay. Anybody coming? Come here. Hold on. Hold on. Mr. Jason Portman. Please come to the hospital and Oh, damn it. No. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. That was for Mr. Jason Portman. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. Ah. Uh, okay, enough of the waiting game. Shut up. The suspense is killing me. I'm going. Ah. Uh, I may have. I may have just screwed this up. Ogenki to Scott. Yeah. Ogenki. Whatever. Ah. Uh, yeah. I think I just ruined this one. Unless... No. There's guards literally everywhere. Unless he's going into a private area. Ah, oh, Mr. Portman. Perfect timing. Follow me to the... Damn it. Must be eager to see the new okay, well, we ruined that. That's fine. What else we got? Um... Um, see what this is all about. You. Oh well. It was gonna be an interesting one, but you know, oh, I gotta get out to. Uh, it's like outside. Yep, like far outside. Props in running in this robe and sandals, 47. Oh, Jeez. Yep, oh, oh, Genki, whatever. Yep. Flying long, couple of months. Yeah, it's a good situation. Miss Yamazaki's very small. Very calm. Tough as nails, too. You should see her in the court. She seems a bit... I don't know, untimely? Like she's not comfortable in her own skin? Yeah, you saw how she dropped her fags off the lift crossing the gorge. It's just nicotine craving. Cigarettes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me five years ago. Glad I got that monkey off my back. Hey, we should get her a pack. Make a good impression. At a place like this. Good luck. Uh. Yuki Yamazaki dropped her cigarettes off the lift when arriving at the hospital. According to her bodyguards, this has put her on edge. Maybe you can help quench those cravings, 47. Cigarettes are contraband at Gamma, but surely not everyone follows the rules. Okay. Oh yeah, that Texan dude was talking about uh, coming here for smoking. Okay, okay. But how are we going to get into his room? Um, I, mean, I can go in there. Can't go in here, though. You, you don't think. You don't think I can scurry across the the, uh, the balcony here, do you? Hmm. 
I'm not allowed to do parkour? Come on, man, it's healthy. Parkour is good for the upper body. And it's hardcore. Okay, is he in his... He is not in his room. It doesn't look like it anyway, so that's cool. God, your, cl your climbing is slow. Not that I could do any better, but you know. A bunch of beers. That's sounds about right. Okay. And he's still not in here. Good, good. Um... Yeah, let's not call for assistance just yet. Oh, what are you? Hello? I have a weapon. I have a... Oh, hello. Cigarettes. Hmm. Okay. Now I have cigarettes. So, do I need to get a poison too, or am I just going to lure her into smoke? Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look where, where, where they want us to put this. Because we could pull a, um... We could, uh, we could pull a Paris round two in this one, and possibly blow her up. Yeah, we could do that. Let's see if there's a, uh... If the right trap is there. Could make this work. Okay, let's put the... Let's hide that bust in my pocket. Of my robe. I guess so, this robe would be the best place to hide stuff. I mean, I guess. Okay, good so... Good, good evening. So her cigarettes are over here. Question is, can I get into this area? The boss. No patience this nope. way. Okay. Sorry. It's cool. Hmm. Maybe you can tell me. Um... Okay, I can't get into there. Hmm. That probably will work the same way. But I guess that's her room. Nope. Definitely not going to be allowed in there. Hello, ma'am. Madame Target. Greetings, sir. Greetings. I'm going this way. That is Yuki Yamazaki. Former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. Honestly, that was going to be my guess because she has uh, tattoos, and tattoos in Japan are a sign of that. All right, let's let's change into this patient real quick. I just want to see something. Does anyone know that I'm not this patient? No. All right, cool. Let's see if that's his room because this might be his room the one over here now this uh, this might be his room nope all right cool well that, that idea's out the window all right that would get so annoying I mean this robe thing is cool and all but that would uh, oh sorry wrong way I don't know what I'm doing Okay, so choking him out was largely for nothing. But now the bathroom's clear, I guess. So let's go ahead and become ourselves again. Okay. And let's go back to my room. Seaweed therapy is this uh, way, right? I mean most of the time it's just Um, let's see. Uh hmm. How am I going to get past those guys, those bodyguards? I mean, I could probably just... 
parkour my way across there like I did for everything else. So like that's probably not going to be as big a deal as I need it to as I'm making it out to be, but I still need to get in there. Wait, I could call for assistance. I could call for assistance in the Texan's room. Okay, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. I use that to get those two inside. Then maybe as a doctor I can get in there. Because I'm, I'm guessing a doctor is going to be allowed to get wherever they want to get to because they're they're a doctor, like logically, right? Hmm. All right, let's let's give that a try and see if it works. I will also need to knock out two people if both of them come. Let's see, is there a place to hide? There's a bat. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, soda. Sure. There's. Nowhere to hide in here, though. But there is this toilet thing. Okay, maybe if I call for assistance and then go run and try to open that up. Okay, yeah, they're both they're both coming. This is not exactly as I planned. Oh, good. He's going in there. Oh, they're both going in there. Okay. That's uh, that's less than that's suboptimal, like extra suboptimal. Um, hmm. <laughs> He's a doctor, not a. Uh... Yeah, he's a he's a doctor, not a. Not a uh, physician, not a uh, electrician or whatever. And that's a hide area, so. God, she's just attached to him at the hip, isn't she? Dave's Gurns! He's Texan, you get it? Okay. That was good. That could have gone worse. God, this guy's got a lot of beer in here for this being like a health a health place. No one's caught oh. Hello? Uh oh. You hurt bad? Oops. I meant to punch him. Oopsies. Well, <laughs> it's just... <clears throat> Oops. I thought I had to punch him another, another time. Well, since he's already dead, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Um, he's a VIP patient, though. So I probably want to keep his costume around. At least I didn't kill the doctor. I'd, I'd, I'd feel bad about that. Dexter, though, he can... whatever. Go ahead. Just hang out in there, please. Thank you. 
All right. Pick this bust up. Yeah, I thought I thought I had to punch him again. That's why we. Uh, that's why we did that. Oops. And I can. Okay, cool. I am allowed in and out of that. Okay. And none of these guys know who I am. Very cool. Very, very cool. Allowed back in my room. Nobody knows who I am. So let's see. Am I just straight up allowed into her area? Or am I going to have to sneak still? Uh, hey, Doc. Sorry. This area is restricted at the moment. Really? I work here. Okay. Glad we had this talk. Okay. So I am, in fact, allowed into this patient's room. Noise. Now. Oh. oh, that's a lethal thing, too. I don't want that. It's lethal. If it was just a, uh, a knockout thing, I'd want it, but, you know. Alright, let's see. Let's, uh, let's save, actually. Because the last thing I want is for this to fail and have to redo the whole mission. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. I am a doctor. Do. Boo, boo, doo, doo, boo. I am a doctor. Do, boo. I am a doctor, do. Except I'm not. I'm not a doctor. Alright. Um. Mm. Uh. Mm. Do you guys, uh. Do you look down over this ledge at all? Like, are you actually looking over. Oh, you are. Okay. Okay, so point point learned. He he is actually looking over the ledge. <laughs> you, some sometimes sometimes when they're looking over the ledge in quotes, they're not. It was worth checking. And we should start from right here. Okay. Um. Hmm. Mm. Do I need a different costume for this? Because I feel like I have to get I have to get really close to those guards. Hmm. Okay. How open is that room? Okay. I don't know, but this seems like a good place to uh, call it for right now. So if you guys had f uh, so sorry, dur. Uh, so we'll be back in the next in the next video. Just give me one second, and we'll be right back.